Salut, dit le monde. Je suis un peu colère ce soir. Je veux lire à lire ce livre, The Air Affair, by Jasper Ford. It's a really good book, I think. It's been a really long time since I've read it. I really enjoyed the entire Thursday Next series um, and his other book, Shades of Grey. He's a really great author. I love him. And I was going to read this book for this book review thing that I do on Sundays on my blog, Strictly Personal Business. So I was going to read it. I flipped it open and it just happened to fall on page four and I got a little perturbed because let me just let me read this little bit of conversation. How are things? Same as ever. Authentications, copyright, theft, same old word that's been marked out. Yup, I nodded. Same old word that's been marked out. Okay. Flip a few more pages. Oh, there's another one. So I just kind of thumb through the book and there's several of these. And as I'm looking at them, they all seem to be curse words based on context. And there's even one that's an entire sentence that's been marked out. At the end of the first paragraph on page 88, at the end of chapter 8, which I'll just read the paragraph for you. Cheerio, said a timid sounding voice from the back. We both turned and looked into the rear of the car. Mr. Meekle had changed back. A thin, rather pathetic looking man was sitting in the back seat, completely naked and very muddy. And I have no idea what the next sentence is because it's been completely inked out. Completely. Now, I bought this book used, and I even know the name of the culprit who has done this heinous thing. Sarah, she writes her name very prettily. I like her handwriting, but I don't like her scratch marks. Now, I don't mind people writing in books. It used to bother me a lot, the thing that like breaks the spine. I still hate that. Dog ears, I'm still not a fan. But writing in books, I've kind of become okay with, and I actually do it myself in my favorite books. But the thing is, it's usually in books that I intend to keep. Books that I read over and over again, and I like to make notations in the sidebars, and all of that. That's, that's for me. It's like a little commentary with myself on this book that I love. If you're gonna do that, don't sell the book to a place that's gonna resell it. When we're on that topic, place that resells books, make sure that this mail doesn't happen. I paid $7.50 for this, and well, it doesn't completely ruin it, it's still a bit frustrating. More than a bit. So, I'm gonna read it anyway, because it's a great book, and it's the copy that I have. But if anyone happens to know what that last sentence is of that first paragraph on page 88 at the end of chapter 8, let me know. And if you've had this happen before and been frustrated about it, let me know in the comments. We can vent together. Because, I mean, that's really all this is. Me venting. So that's what Jen's doing tonight trying to read a really good book and ending up venting. Later.